Well, there's an interesting intro to a video. Thought I'd throw you guys off a little bit by showing you one of my signs. I'm going to mount up in my shop one day when I'm not so absent-minded. But I finally decided to show you what those Edelbrock Pontiac RPM cylinder heads are going to go on. Underneath here is a beautiful 461 cubic inch Pontiac Stroker long block. It has, um, you can see where the owner spent a lot of time uh, deburring and smoothing his lifter uh, valley area. It's got, uh, let's see, I think it's, was that 30 over? I think it's, I think it's been bored 30 over with a 4.25 inch stroker crank, 6.8 inch H-beam connecting rods, forged steel, and for all you Pontiac purists, that is an aftermarket crankshaft because anybody that knows anything about Pontiac knows unless you were doing some kind of weird NASCAR motor they didn't put forged cranks in their engines they put nodular iron but this is an all forged rotating assembly long rod stroker engine custom and I do mean custom ordered Ross pistons with a specific D shape Got a lot of so shiny it's hard to get in the video it's got a specific size d-shaped uh, dish in it to work with his 72 cc Edelbrock cylinder heads to make it make it run on pump gas um, this is a 1971 block which if anybody follows Pontiac builds 67 through 71 some people say 67 through 70 have the stronger, thicker castings on their cylinder blocks. Um, it's got a custom ground Butler Performance out of Leoma, Tennessee roller cam. That is a solid roller cam. Um, this thing, for for real, no estimates, no you know if ands or buts. You're looking at a 600, probably closer to 650 horse Pontiac V8. Once we get the uh, heads, you know, and everything bolted on it, he's going with the uh, Victor EFI intake with a fast electronic fuel injection set up on it. This thing's going to be a beast. I mean, I'm, I'm not, you know blowing smoke up anybody's hind end this thing is going to be a beast because when you're looking at over 600 horsepower on pump gas that's some serious horsepower I don't care who you are <clears throat> but he's got all the good items we've got mega braces that we're going to uh, you have to actually custom grind and fit those mega braces to strengthen up the cam tunnels but he's got the mega braces we're going to put in it. You know, the solid one piece valley pan, all the little trick pieces. I just wanted you guys to get a good look at this thing. See, so dropped it off the other day and I hadn't done any videos on it. But being that I used to I used to build and race Pontiac V8s, this thing is near and dear to my heart. And I wished I'd had something this nice when I had my old 71 Ventura. Because I, you know, fixed fixed what Pontiac did wrong on mine. Pulled the stupid Chevy motor out of it and put a Pontiac 400 in it that ran high 11s. Which is pretty good for a little 400 with a stock bottom in and a home-ported home set of heads. Because those... uh heads I had on my old Ventura they were uh, 
1969 428 number 16 heads that I did a home port job on it and made that thing scream for next to nothing. Let's just show you a little look at how big those lobes are. Love, you gotta love a roller cam. This thing's gonna talk, it's gonna hit like a banshee, and it's gonna make good power. But anyway, I wanted you guys to get a look at it because he dropped it off the other day because I'm gonna help him with all the just final assembly stuff. Uh, performance machine out of Freeman, Missouri. It's run by Jack Conklin. He did all the machine work, final assembly, home fit the pistons, verified the uh, race clearances on the rods and main bearings. Everything was torqued to ARP specs. It does have main studs. I'm really excited for this guy, for Jordan. This motor is going to make a lot of power. And like I said in my previous videos, I hope he respects it. Because it's going to be a lot more horsepower than your average person has ever even gotten behind the wheel of. So, Anyway, I just want to do a little short video of this. 461 cubic inch Pontiac stroker engine. Four and a quarter stroke, 6.8 H-beam rods, custom Ross pistons, and custom uh, solid roller camshaft from Butler Performance out of Leoma, Tennessee. So we'll get this thing put together and see if we can make some horsepower. I appreciate you guys watching these videos. It's actually a lot more fun than I ever thought it would be to make them. So, Anyway, thanks again, man. You guys have a good weekend.